Creeping Buttercup is an aggressive, invasive weed that can quickly take over turf and cause serious problems. This weed grows fast and competes with your desired plants for water, nutrients, and sunlight, leaving your lawn patchy and vulnerable to pests or disease. In this video, we'll go over how to identify creeping buttercups, how to control these weeds on your property, and how to prevent them from growing back. Check the video's description for timestamps if you want to jump to a specific point. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about pest control, click the links in the video's description and get free shipping on your order. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Alternate names for Creeping Buttercup include Creeping Crowfoot, Devil's Guts, and Granny Threads. This weed grows vertical stems that can reach up to two feet tall. The stems are hairy and sometimes reddish towards the base of the plant. Newly established weeds will grow as rosettes. Some stems will grow outwards horizontally as stolons. The plant's leaves grow up to three inches long and one and a half inches wide. They have three segments. Each leaflet is deeply lobed with toothed edges. The leaves are dark green in color and covered in hairs, and they may sometimes have pale spots. Flowers bloom from March to August. These yellow flowers are one inch in diameter, and they grow five to seven petals that are about half an inch long. The flowers have clusters of stamens and pistils in the center. When fruits form, they grow in clusters that create spiky, round heads. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what to look for, check your property to confirm the pest's presence or find activity hotspots. Creeping buttercups grow in disturbed areas that see full sun or are shaded. The soil would be moist and compact with poor drainage. You can find creeping buttercups growing in lawns, gardens, roadsides, pastures, and stream banks. Many buttercups emerge from the ground in fall, but creeping buttercup plants produce flowers starting in spring. During warmer seasons, be on the lookout for the weed's bright yellow flowers. After identifying your pest and inspecting your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep people and pets out of the treated areas until products settle completely. To eliminate creeping buttercups on commercial or residential properties, use a selective post-emergent herbicide that's labeled not to injure your property's turf grass. If you have weeds growing on properties with cool season grasses, we recommend 2,4-Diamine. The labeled application rate for spot treatments with this product is one quarter of a pint of concentrate mixed into three gallons of water, or one and two thirds fluid ounces of concentrate mixed into one gallon of water. If you have weeds growing on properties with warm season grasses, we recommend Fahrenheit herbicide. For spot applications, mix 0.2 ounces of the product per one gallon of water to apply over 1,000 square feet. Keep in mind that when making applications over St. Augustine grass, Bermuda grass, or Zoysia grass, temporary stunting or chlorosis may occur. To enhance this product's efficacy, mix in a surfactant like Nanotech. Nanotech is a non-herbicide product designed to improve the adhesion and penetration of pesticides onto treated surfaces. Just add one fluid ounce per one gallon of solution. For either of these products, we recommend you mix and apply your herbicide with a handheld sprayer or a backpack sprayer. Spot treat any weed you've found during your inspection. Use a fan or cone spray pattern to ensure the leaves are fully coated and spray the weed to the point of wet but not runoff. Be sure to spray on calm days when temperatures are not too hot and when wind speeds are low to minimize drift. When applied properly, affected weeds will yellow and begin to die. Conduct follow-up applications as necessary. Reapplication intervals with 2,4-Diamine range from 21 to 30 days. Reapplication intervals with Fahrenheit range from 4 to 6 weeks. Applications are most effective when the plant is young and actively growing before flower or seed production. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after applying pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to ensure it can't happen. To prevent weeds from growing on your turf, we recommend you promote the health of your desired turf grass so it grows strong and outcompetes unwanted plants. Mow your grass at proper intervals to maintain a thick growing density. A lawn dense with taller, trimmed grass is better able to choke out weeds and other unwanted grasses and prevent them from establishing. 
Reduce the shade cast on your lawn by trimming overgrown shrubbery and tree branches, rake away leaf litter and pick up any debris, and employ a proper watering schedule to provide the local grass with enough water to strengthen its roots, but not so much that will encourage weeds. Many grasses require one inch of water every week. Apply the water all at once in the morning so it has time to seep into the ground without evaporating in the sun. Apply fertilizer to promote your lawn's health. Fertilizer provides your turf with essential nutrients that help the grass defend itself against weeds, pests, and diseases. Consider Solutions 15510 Weed and Feed with Trimec. This product in particular will eliminate weeds while providing a steady supply of nutrients for your turf. For general applications, you can distribute at a rate of 3.2 to 4.0 pounds of product per 1,000 square feet. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop creeping buttercups from establishing, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.